The purpose of this training is to cover best practices and test security and confidentiality procedures across national, state, and local assessments. You can always find more information on specific individual assessments by visiting our CFB ISD assessment Google site at cfbisd.edu slash assessment, also located through our staff portal. This training does not replace your obligation for reading your assessment manuals and attending any additional campus training sessions. You'll want to identify access to any necessary manuals, directions, and procedures around your test administration, and be sure to read your manuals prior to administering any assessments. Regarding general assessment information, here is some general testing information regarding our state assessments. You may pause now to read through each of these assessments to get a general idea of their purpose and who their audience serves. Taking a look at our local assessments, we know that they are intended to test students on their knowledge of the curriculum, monitor their progress, assess their achievement, and enable the district to modify existing programs and develop new programs aligned with specific student needs. Additionally, we have MAP assessments that assess our student growth over three testing windows throughout the year. This assessment identifies what students know and are ready to learn. Additionally, our district has access to College Board where we look at a series of placement tests for students enrolling in public colleges and universities in Texas. When we think about test security, we are looking to preserve the integrity of all test content to ensure that results are meaningful and valid. It also ensures that fair and equal testing opportunities occur for all students across the district, which is why we have an accounting system for all materials staying secure before, during, and after each test administration. Here, you'll notice that different assessments identify slightly different secure test materials. It's important to be mindful of keeping these items secure so as to not invalidate the testing opportunities for our students in CFB. All testing personnel who handle test materials should be aware that the materials may contain secure test content and that any viewing, discussing, or recording of this confidential information is prohibited. Test administrators who have permission to view secure content must be reminded that responding to test questions, recording the information they see, scoring a test, or discussing the content of a test at any time is prohibited. While a very small percentage of our CFBISD students use oral administration in this version, it is important to emphasize that students needing oral administration may require a proctor to view and read aloud test content. Most CFBISD students receive this accommodation through text-to-speech for MAP, local assessments and AWARE, and their state testing. If a student does receive oral administration by way of a paper test, the test administrator may not respond to test questions, make notes about test questions, discuss the content, write notes or calculations, provide any type of verbal or nonverbal assistance. It's important to note that if a student does receive an accommodation on a beginning of the year assessment, they should also receive that accommodation on the end of the year assessment. When considering the testing environment, it is not necessary to conceal or remove instructional or reference materials unless they could provide assistance or are a direct source of answers for the subject area being administered. Here you'll see examples of content-specific materials. It's important to keep in mind that no element of the room should hinder any student's performance. A testing do not disturb sign should be posted outside the testing room. All desks or computer workstations must be cleared of books or other materials not required for testing, and students should not have viewable access to another student's assessment. When dealing with or addressing electronic devices, students should power off and store all forms of electronic devices out of their reach during assessments. For CFB ISD's official electronic device policies, 
please visit the assessment specific page on our assessment Google site. As a best practice, these devices, including earbuds, should either be safely stored without damage by the test administrator or secured in the student's backpack. Being in possession of any electronic device may result in not scoring the test and disciplinary action will be taken by the campus administration. As a reminder, students should be made aware of our electronic policy prior to testing. Test administrators must actively monitor the testing room at all times, even after materials have been returned. If a school emergency arises that presents an actual or potential danger, students should follow campus procedures. Students should be reminded to raise their hand before submitting responses for all online assessments. It is a serious violation of testing security if a student or staff member photographs or duplicates secure test content or disseminates this information using an electronic device. If you know of this occurring or have seen it happen, contact your campus testing coordinator immediately. It's imperative that all personnel involved with student assessments be in compliance with confidentiality, and that starts with you. It's important to be trained, to actively monitor, and to notify assessment coordinators to investigate or report any alleged or confirmed incidences. Incidences resulting in a deviation from documented tested procedures result in two types of irregularities, serious irregularities and procedural irregularities. Let's take a look at those now. A serious testing irregularity constitutes a severe violation of test security or confidentiality. These must be immediately reported to and investigated by the campus testing coordinator. Confirmed violations should be reported to campus and district leadership. Serious testing irregularities may include, but are not lim limited to, directly or indirectly assisting students with responses, tampering with student responses, providing unallowable assistance, encouraging or assisting an individual to engage in other serious violations, and additionally failing to report any type of potential serious irregularity to the appropriate administrator. Procedural testing irregularities reflect minor areas or deviations in testing procedures. They do not represent severe breaches in security or confidentiality, and they will fall into the following categories. Monitoring, eligibility, accommodation, accounting, or training errors. Some examples include a designated support is not provided. There was improper active monitoring. A student was permitted to test beyond the allowed time or a student was issued test materials or a test ticket that belonged to another student. Taking a look at reporting irregularities, this system of procedures allows proper investigation of incidences and maintains testing validity and confidence. If a student is suspected to be cheating, contact your campus testing coordinator right away, as they will have to follow these steps for each administration. Preventing testing irregularities starts with practical steps that can be taken by the test administrator. A few of these steps include ensuring accurate testing rosters that include information about accommodations, utilizing accurate seating charts, announcing time left within the assessments, providing required test materials, and verifying that each student has recorded their responses on his or her answer document or online test before submitting or turning it in. Depending on the assessment you're proctoring, there may be additional training modules you'll need to watch prior to testing. Be sure to attend all training sessions on campus to ensure that you are meeting all testing requirements. Thank you for completing the test security and confidentiality training. Please visit our assessment Google site for more information on specific assessments experienced in CFB ISD. For assessment questions, 
please first contact your campus leadership or campus testing coordinator to support our students with a positive assessment experience.